Hi, my name is Maggie Don, and I'm an associate project scientist at UC Irvine, and I'm presenting work today on behalf of myself and co-authors Kylie Pepler and Mimi Ito. This work was funded by generous support from the Wallace Foundation, and a full report can be found on their website, which I will point you to at the end of this short overview. In this report, we seek to build a shared language and framework for arts learning. We start with Connected Learning, a framework for thinking about how powerful learning happens to propose a connected arts learning framework, an expanded view of the purposes and possibilities for arts learning. A connected arts learning framework builds from historical perspectives on the purposes and possibilities for arts education. First, connected arts learning builds from the idea that young people develop relationships as part of artistic communities to recognize how relationships can broker meaningful opportunities for youth both in and outside of the arts. Additionally, connected arts learning highlights how interest in the arts, culture, and identity are intertwined in artistic practice. And finally, in addition to acknowledging individual opportunities and benefits of the, benefits of the arts, Connected Arts Learning emphasizes additional opportunities, including development of identity, civic engagement, and connecting to future careers. A Connected Arts Learning Framework, which is visualized here, focuses on how to achieve broader outcomes through the arts by building on youth interests and identities, investing in strong relationships with adults, peers, and families, and connecting youth to future opportunities. Rooted in a foundation of community cultural wealth, a connected arts learning framework looks at how these interconnected elements create meaningful culturally and community-centered arts opportunities for young people. A connected arts learning view also shifts the common framing of the value of the arts to recognize not only individual gains, but also cultural and community benefits of arts learning. To create this framework, we conducted interviews with arts educators and experts, developed case studies of organizations, and engaged in a review of arts literature. While arts education or organizations often take up individual elements of connected arts learning, such as building community connections or fostering youth interests, the connected arts learning framework describes a holistic approach to arts, arts education. In other words, this framework affirms and is heightened by earlier work offering an integrated approach to creating meaningful arts learning opportunities. We hope this framework will support the recognition and spread of meaningful, equity-oriented and culturally and community-connected arts education that already exists in the field. The case studies in the report were drawn from each of the organizations shown in this map, including Chicago Arts Partnerships in Education, CAPE, Origination, Ifitayo, Inner City Arts, and Spy Hop. The report also describes five different approaches to foster connected arts learning, offering case studies for each, highlighting the ways that these organizations are already implementing connected arts learning in practice. The five approaches we name in the report include a culturally sustaining arts approach, future forward arts approach, networked arts arts approach, doing well by doing art approach, and youth voice arts approach. The case studies highlight features of each and illustrate how other arts educators might structure their work to advance arts learning outcomes emphasized by the Connected Arts Learning Framework. The final section of this report also includes initial recommendations and guidance to design arts learning driven by the framework in each of the approaches identified through the research. Here is a preview of these types of resources that can support connected arts learning in practice, including questions organizations can ask to boost connected arts learning in their work and a rubric to support the development of connected arts learning in program design. And here is a very long link to the report. Thank you for watching the video. You can also find the report by searching uh, Connected Arts Learning, uh, Wallace Foundation, and you can download the report directly from their website. Looking forward to seeing you all at the meetup and the conference, and thank you again.